I have been writing about federalism for a very long time, and my hope is to convince progressives that federalism is for everyone. Progressives tend to be really doubtful of federalism because they associate it with the civil rights era, with Jim Crow, with states' rights being asserted to harm the rights of racial minorities. But that was your father's federalism. Today's federalism is a source of change um, and dynamism. Think about, for just a minute, the same-sex marriage movement. The equality movement moved through states and localities. That's how we ended up with a right to marry for same-sex couples. So progressives, I think, need to suit up, get in the game, because federalism is for everyone, and it's one of the most powerful tools in American democracy today. The future of federalism is particularly interesting uh, during this era, the Trump era. In the past, it's typically been conservatives that have really thought hard about federalism and why states matter, but suddenly progressives, realizing that they are completely out of power in Washington, are looking to state and local power, both as forms of changing policy, but also as forms of resistance. So the Sanctuary City movement is a perfect example of the power that states and localities wield. And I just want to emphasize they wield it because the federal government depends on them entirely to carry out federal policy. So we usually think of the federal government as enormous, but it's actually quite small relative to its own ambitions. The federal government simply doesn't have enough boots on the ground to enforce its own immigration policy, its own marijuana policy, its own environmental policies. That means it has to turn to states and cities to help it get the job done. And when states and cities refuse to do so, as with the sanctuary city mo movement, then the federal government finds itself in a little bit of a trouble. At this moment in time, Donald Trump enjoys congr trolling majorities in Congress. He doesn't have to talk to a single Democrat on, in, on the Hill in order to get what he wants done. But if Donald Trump really wants to see his policies enacted across the country, he is going to need to talk to the Democrats in California, in New York, and in Boston.